So a communication is an interesting thing. And, and if any of you ever traveled to Japan? Okay. Like, have you ever felt more in your life like a deaf mute illiterate than when you're in Japan? Because when you wander around Japan, especially when you're outside of Tokyo, everything's in kanji. You know, everything's in the in the, in the script that the them makes perfect sense, and to me, it looks like a bush, right? And so now you go you go to Tokyo, and you want to order food. Simple little thing. You just want to order food in a restaurant in Tokyo. So you walk over. And uh, how you do this is they give you a menu, and it's in kanji, right? Not much help, right? So now what they do is out in front of the buildings, they have a, they have a, a glass display. On the glass display, they have sort of like a, a rendering, not a rendering, but sort of a mock-up of what the food will actually look like, what each of the dishes will look like. And they'll be, they'll be laid out in tiers, and underneath it, they'll have a little sheet of paper, right? Or something that describes what, what the item is. Now, if you're in Tokyo, you might get a little English on that, and a number above, but then underneath it'll be the Japanese, right? But if you get outside of Tokyo, it's all in Japanese, including the number, right? So if you're in Tokyo, you can say, I want number four, right? And they go, okay, they take four, and they bring it back, and if you're lucky, you get four and not seven, right? And, and you don't even know how you ordered seven, but you might have, right? Or what you do is you go inside and you grab somebody and you bring it. This is what I've had to do any number of times. You go inside, you grab somebody, you bring them out. I see a head shaking over here. You bring, <laughs> you bring them out and you show them which of the ones you want. And almost guaranteed you'll get the one next to it. <laughs> right? And, and, I, and by the way, I love the Japanese. They're the most gracious people I've, I've seen in terms of hosts. But I mean, this, this language thing is fascinating. So you, you point at the one you want, and they say, okay, okay. And then they go in and they bring out whatever they obviously thought was what you ordered, right? Not necessarily what I did order, but what, I th what they thought I had ordered, right? So I struggled with this for a while, and I got tired of eating stuff that I hadn't ordered. <laughs> Right? So I said, well, how am I going to deal with this issue? So, I, so I, one day I was in a restaurant, and I was out in front of the restaurant, and I was looking, and everything, once again, no numbers, nothing. I, it might as well have been you know, just, just a fruit tree, a bush. I mean, I, it, I, for, if somebody say, which one do you want? I say, the one that wouldn't look like a purple spruce. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. And I said, I've got to figure out a way to deal with this. And I said, well, they can obviously read the, the, the Japanese, and there are only a few characters, so I pulled out a pad and I copied, like, like an etch a sketch, basically, right? I copied down the characters. And so then I said, oh, proud, I walked inside and I sat down at the table. The waiter comes up, gives me the Japanese menu, which is totally useless, and he knows at this point it's totally useless, right? He comes up and he, and he says, whatever he says in Japanese, can I take your order? And all I did was hold up the piece of paper, right? He looks at it. Oh, writes it down like this, and this is a true story. He walks like this, and he goes, he stops, turns back, comes back, he goes, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's, what's interesting to me about that is I could have struggled with getting the right thing ordered and, and picking the right whatever. All I needed to do was talk to him in a way that he could understand. And I got exactly what I wanted to get. It was easier for him, it was easier for me, and all I needed to do was not think he needed to speak my language. What I needed to be sensitive enough to understand that I need to figure out how can I talk to him in such a way that I can get my message across.